Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you quickly and easily how to add a motion sensor onto your Optima compact alarm panel. So the first thing you need to do is take the lid off the control panel. I'm going to assume you've got a cable in place that's going to the detector and I'm going to bring this into the panel. Now when I open this panel lid, as it will for you, it's going to trigger a tamper alarm. So after it triggers the alarm, you're going to put your user code into the panel. So let's get cracking. Enter your user code, just to silence that for the time being. Move your backup battery out of the way, just makes life a lot easier. Take off this top section as well, it's held in by the speaker. Now you need to bring your cable into the panel. Pop the circuit board out and feed the cable into the back of the panel. Then pop the circuit board back into place. Now you've got your cable in place, you can put the top part back in. Now your cable's in place, go to your motion sensor. You're going to wire into the motion sensor first and then wire it into the panel. Expose the inner cores of the cable by making a splice just there and peeling the cable back. Twist together your red and black, your blue and yellow and your green and white. Do this by putting the cables together, twist them round just as I'm doing like that and then spin. If you have an eight core cable, you'll still have a brown and orange cable inside. Don't cut them away because you might need them in future. Just twist them around the bottom like that. You never know when you're gonna need spare cores. Now snip the ends off all inner cores, so totaling six, get your snips, put them to the end, and just a light press and a pull, and expose the metal of the cable. Now on here, you've got terminals. All PIRs are very, very similar, usually. You've got positive and negative voltage, you've got your close and normally close to the alarm circuit, and you've got T1 and T2, which is your tamper circuit. Your PIR, if it doesn't say exactly the same, will say something very similar. Put the red into positive and black into negative. Screw them up nice and tight. Blue and yellow go into closed and normally closed. These are your alarm circuits. These can go either way round. And your green and white into your tamper circuit. Again, these can go either way round. Put them in, screw them up. When you're sure all connections are in there nice and tight, push the cable out of the way and put the lid back on the motion sensor. Now we're gonna go back to the control panel. On here, we have zone four as a spare zone. So you're gonna get the cable that you've put into the control panel and we're gonna open up this. Splice the cable, peel the cable back to expose the inner cores. Once you've exposed your inner cores of the cable, twist together again, red and black, blue and yellow, green and white, and twist the brown and orange, if you've got them, around the bottom of the cable. Now you should have a cable that looks like this. Now the next bit's important, guys, it's what separates the amateurs, or one of the things that separates amateurs from the professionals. Get some tape, put some tape around the bottom of the cable, and label the cable. For example, dining room. P-I-R. It's one of those things that doesn't seem overly important right now, but if you're fault finding and things in future, labeling up your cables makes a massive difference and it just makes your life easier. First thing I want you to do is get the blue and yellow and put that into your desired zone. Whether that's a new zone or if you're doing a swap out for a new PIR, you take the old PIR out and put these into that area that the PIR was in. So for us, we're going into zone four. Now your green and white, which is your tamper circuit, goes into your global tamper, which is in the middle here. So one side into each of there. If you have additional cables that are going into your tamper circuit, you need to put them in a daisy chain. If you don't know how to do a daisy chain, I will link a video in the description to one where I give you a clear demonstration on how to do a daisy chain for your tamper circuit. So now we're left to our last one, which is our power. Our power is our aux, which is here, positive and zero volts. So I want you to take the power out completely for all devices. If it was your only sensor going in, you just have red into positive and black into negative, but I'm gonna show you how to join it on to multiple devices, because you might have other ones in there that's got power. So grab all three lots at the bottom, undo the red and black of the new cable you've done, undo all of the blacks, undo all of the reds, and put all the blacks together, and then all the reds together and then twist them together so you've got all the cables together, all the reds together, and all the blacks together. Snip off the ends of all the cables, then untwist the top of the reds, and just prise them all off, and you're left with that, where you've got all the metal exposed. Then twist all of them together as so, and do exactly the same 
with the blacks. This just keeps it all nice and neat and makes it nice and easy for you to get the cables into the terminal. Twist them together. And now we're gonna put red into the positive and black into the zero volts, otherwise known as the negative. Here we go, fits in like a glove, baby. So now hook up your backup battery back onto the system. Remember guys, if this is more than five years old, I want you to change it for a new one. Push cables out the way or up behind the circuit board if you're running out of room. Now get your control panel lid and pop that into there and close up the control panel lid. Screw that up. Now press the X button here and the tamper light here should clear. Perfect. So now we have our control panel and our new motion sensor here. The next thing you want to do is put it into a water test to test it's working correctly. We put this on zone four. So to start a water test, press program, put your user code in. Now when we press zero, number four is not going to be lit up because it hasn't seen movement, but it's going to see us straight away so the light will come on quickly. There we go. So you saw there was no light on it and then we moved in front of it and it's brought the light on. So we've tested it on a water test. So it wasn't an open circuit before and then we moved in front of it and it's created an open circuit. So you'd come back to the control panel and check that that light has come on, which it has. So you're good to go. You've just installed a motion sensor or replaced a motion sensor onto your Optima compact alarm system. I'm gonna be doing a lot of other videos like this, guys. Next one's gonna be a front door contact, for example. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.